Hi guys, so yesterday um, I talked about the story with my lift and I talked about um, um, how God said to me someone had to go to the cross. Um, I didn't get to finish that because they they came to do something else with my lift. They, they forgot something and they came to bring it for me. Um, so, um, I just want to finish it now. Um, although so, someone had to go to the cross, God just spoke to me and said, although someone had to go to the cross and sacrifice, he said, you can carry the cross, but don't let it carry you. Meaning, you can go through things, you can learn through them, you can be a champion for something, you can speak on an issue, you can do all that stuff, all that stuff is great, but don't let it carry you, don't let it um, hold you back or become a noose around your neck or don't be contained by it. Use your cross so that people will learn from you one day like I said yesterday that your cross isn't for you, that it's for other people. Um, but don't be, be, um, be surrounded and consumed by your cross because two things can happen you can use your hard times or in this case what I'm calling your cross to help other people and help yourself and learn from it and move on or you can use your cross to become so much of a crusader that that's all you are that's all you're known for so let's use my example from yesterday so let's say later in my life i got the chance to speak on um issues uh, regarding people with disabilities in the province of ontario and getting stuff and getting funding and transportation and issues um, that people with disabilities face. Getting to speak on it is one thing, but if I let it consume me to the point that's all I am, all, all my opinions have to be um, about people with disabilities, all I do has to be about people with disabilities, like my my cross has become my noose and for many people a cross that was that they were supposed to learn from that they were supposed to develop from that they were supposed to let shape them for a time they have let that cross become their noose and the lord says today i hear him very clearly saying let go of the noose. Let go of the noose so I can bring something new into your life. Don't let that temper, temporary uh, problem or situation define who you are. Don't let that uh, temper, te temporary crusade for something become all you are. You are more than what you think. You are more than a cause. You are more than a single mom. You are more than a person with a disability. You are more than what you think. And the Lord wants you to embrace the totality of what he's made you to be. You are not just, um, a single mom. You are not just uh, a black man. You are not just anything. You are the beautiful person that God has ordained you to be. 
and there is something in you if you let go of the noose some people don't let go of the noose around their necks because they're afraid they're like if i let go of this then what else can i be if i let go of my adult children and i'm no longer uh hovering around them um if I'm no longer a mom, what else will I be? If I'm no longer a preacher, what else will I be? But what they don't realize is letting go, letting go can free you for the next thing that God has planned for you. You're saying, God, what's next? God, what's next? But many times, he can't reveal to you what's next because you are stuck in what was and if you are stuck in what was and don't embrace what is he can't he can't develop you to the point where he wants to do more things and be be a person um, um, for you to be a person that can embrace your presence. He wants you to embrace the greatness of what's now. He wants you to know that your best days are not ahead of you. They're not even behind you. They're in your presence. And sometimes uh, when we look around, you're saying, Rachel, what do you mean my best days are in my presence? I mean, he, he's put something in you now that he is using to bless people. He is using to restore people. He is using to help people. Sometimes we're looking for this big thing when all he wants us to do is use what we have, use what he's created in us now to help people. And we don't have to help people in a big way. You, you know, sometimes we just have to help people with a smile. Sometimes we just have to help people with an encouraging word. Sometimes forgiveness helps people. And, mo and all the time, love helps people. We don't need money or resources or whatever to help people. We just need discernment. And we just need the voice of God to help people. And then... If we need um, tangible resources, he will show us through the people he puts around us um, where, where to receive those tangible resources because we do need to work. We can't just sit on our laurels and say, oh, God will do it. God will help me. All I need is Jesus. Um, but... But saying that, um, although we do need work, work, works and faith, we cannot uh, discount the, the value of just who we are as a people. Uh, we cannot doing, we cannot discount the value of what he's putting us down. We cannot discount the value of a smile. We cannot count, we cannot discount the people of our, the val the people that he's brought into our life. And we cannot discount the value of what we have in us now. You never know how what you do will affect people. You never know how 
who you are as affect people and you as affecting people and you never know who's watching you. Not that you should pay attention to people, but you never know who God has put in your spirit. And um, sometimes it's the silent people, the silent people, the people that you don't even know see you, that will um, be the partners that God will use to catapult you into where he wants you to be so you can go to your destiny destiny do not discount anyone do not discount anyone because that person that you discount may be the key to unlock what god has put inside you and and i'm saying this too do not discount yourself i don't care where you have been what what you have been through, where you have been, what you what you've done, God can still use you. Hear me carefully. God can still use you. The Lord specializes in using the broken hearted. He said he's close to the broken hearted. He, he gives he gives wisdom to the to the simple. Uh, he gives he gives light and life to people who really can receive it. Who really uh, who who really just have a hunger for him. And you don't have to be a college professor. You don't have to be any anybody than what you are. You don't have to uh, uh, follow a formula or whatever. You just have to be available and God will bring the resources for you to work. And sometimes the, res the way he will bring resources is not the way you would envision it but just follow God and he will make sure that you get to your destiny. That, you'll, that you will get to where he has called you to be. And and the last thing I'm going to say is you can take the weight you can take the weight. The cross may be heavy, but you can take the weight. Weight in both senses of the word. W-A-I-T and W-A-I-G-H-T or I think I think that's the right spelling. Uh, forgive me, I'm a terrible speller. Um, spelling is not my uh, biggest attribute. Um, so you can take the weight, which means you can take the uh, measurement as in the weight, as in the weight, and you can take uh, weighting as in time. You can take the weight. It won't kill you. It's just strengthening you. I said this many times. Weight produces muscle. If you don't have weight, there's no resistance. And without resistance, you can't build muscle. God is just building muscle. All the times that you think you're waiting, all the times where it feels it's going to crush you, it will not crush you. It's just building muscle in you so that when you get to where you're going, you have enough muscle, enough stamina, enough fortitude to achieve what he's, he has for you in your life. Because sometimes if you're brought into things when you want to be brought into things, if you are 
um, if you uh, do things the way you want to, um, you won't have the weight, you won't have the fortitude, you won't have the stamina to handle, you won't have the tools, you won't have the knowledge to handle what God has put in you. Um, every trial, every problem brings a lesson to it. Every challenge um, properly steward um, lets you come out with knowledge. So if you manage your challenges and problems and difficulties pro properly, you will come out with knowledge that will help you at not only this level, but your next level. And it will not only help you, but it will help generations to come. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. Lord Jesus, I thank you today for all, all your blessed people that are listening to me, Lord Jesus. Give them fortitude when they're crying. Lord, give them stamina. Give them joy. Give them peace. Give them the power to wait. Give them the, um, give them the knowledge. Give them understanding. Lord, give them the divine wisdom and the divine resources and the way to get the resources, Lord God. You may not give us a book, but you can direct us through our spirits where to find the book. You, you won't give us things, but you will teach us most times how to get them and where to find them, oh God. I pray that you give every person listening to me, even people watching this three years down the road, um, the wisdom to receive what you have for them or the wisdom to get connected or the wisdom to achieve what you want to achieve. Lead them to the right books. Lead them to the right programs. Lead them to the right people. Put the right people in their lives, oh God. Give them inclinations that they haven't before, that they haven't had before for their destiny or careers or their family. Lord Jesus, give them the right friendships, the right relationships, because you often bless people with, uh, um, through the right relationships, Lord. Give them the right relationships, not only romantic relationships, but give them the right business partnerships, God. Give them the right level of understanding how to deal with what they need to deal with on this level, God. I praise you and I worship you for all your dear people. Even if they're watching this days down the road, year, months down the road, years down the road, oh God. Let this be, be applicable to their life. Holy Spirit, surround them, oh God. Surround them with peace. Surround them with joy. Surround them with love, oh God. Cause them never to give up. Never to give up. Never to give up. Because the moment they give up is the moment they surrender to the devil's devices. And I declare today that no one that is listening to me right now will ever surrender to the devil's devices by giving up. No, they are... You've given us too much power to give up. You've given us too much resource in ourselves to give up. You've given us too many great relationships that we don't even see yet to give up. Oh God, cause us to hold on when we feel like giving up. Cause us to hold on when we feel like giving in, oh God. Cause us to know that you are God and you know what, what tools this problem is developing in us. Oh God, I pray that this weight of glory 
this light affliction will not be able to compare to the weight of glory that you have waiting for us in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. And amen. So guys, I th thank you today. Bye. You made a way I went, went my back once against the wall And it looked as if it was over You made a way And I'm standing here Only because you made Away. You move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power before miracles. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. There is nothing. It's impossible And I'm standing here Only because you made a way He's making a way So your back is against the wall And it looks as if it is over He's making a way You'll be standing here Only because he made a way He'll move mountains He'll cause walls to fall With his power Before miracles There is nothing Absolutely nothing, there is nothing that's impossible. You'll be standing here only because he made a way. He is not trying to punish you, my last point. He's trying to perfect you. So let him perfect you. Even if the pain, even if all of this, even if the cross, your cross brings you down to your knees, that's the place he wants you to be. You've been too self-reliant for so long. Being self-reliant and independent is good to a point. But now he's saying, let me take it. Let me show you a new level of provision. Let me show you a new level of who I am. Let me show you who I can be in your life, not just who you can be in your own life. You've been carrying the weight alone for too long, and you need to let it go and know that I got you and I won't let you fall. I will give you the right resources. I will teach you how to work it. I will send people into your life that will teach you how to work it. And the unexpected blessing, or as Stephen Furtick put it a few weeks ago, the unschedulable, the unschedulable blessing will come through means that you will that you would not think of. It will come through people that you will have no idea of. Just trust him. He's asking for your trust and complete submission. And, and my definition of submission is to actually stand under a mission. Um, so find out God's mission for your career, for your marriage, for your family, for your life and stand under it and say lord i was standing under your mission for my life i give away my mission for your life and take on your mission 
as mine. And when you stand under a mission and say, Oh God, this mission is yours. Miracles happen. So, the Lord is saying right now to me, Submit to your miracle. I don't know where all this is coming from, but right now he's saying to me, Submit to your miracle. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't uh, try and figure it out. Just submit to it. And stand under it. And know that he will have your back. And he will have his perfect will into, in your life. And he will have the final say. Let it go. Let it go. There's no need to carry it on your own anymore. Let it go. There is a new level of greatness in you that God can't release unless you let it go. There is a new level of um, friendship that he wants to bring into your life. But there are so many people that are not doing you good. But you're still, but you're still hanging on to them because it's what you know. But the Lord said, let go of what you know. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord. We receive your word, Lord Jesus. Amen. So, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. La, la, la.